Hello and good morning everybody. Am I excited to show you this? Uh, this is going to be my first uh, ever City Skylines 2 video uh, and we'll jump right into it. Uh, we are going to start a new city. We're gonna use, I've already decided these things, I'm gonna use the Lakeland map. Um, there's plenty of good maps, um, but I think the Lakeland map is my favorite so far. Um, we're good, yeah, plenty of good maps. They're very decent. Very, very decent so far. Um, I, I think I could do better, but uh, we'll have to wait uh, until until uh, the game launches and uh, and see what happens with the, uh, the map making scene. But uh, for now, the Lakeland map is going to be my map. Uh, I'm going to call the city Lake Land also, just because, and it's going to be an American city, guys. Uh, let's start. No natural disasters. I can't bother. Uh, no left-hand traffic. No unlock all. No unlimited money. We're gonna play this game the way it's supposed to be played. And I'm going to show you. Look at this. Like, it, I might put a stopwatch on the on the video, but but this is this is here uh, one of the most insane uh, features about CS2. It loads so quickly, guys. It's it's not even funny. We are in game. Okay. Uh, I'll definitely do a my normal way of like making this a sped up time lapse, but I just wanted to show you like loading into the city how quick it is and like how carefree that can be. That's probably gonna get longer with more assets and stuff like that, but still like I d I don't remember ever loading into City Skylines One even vanilla that fast. So. Yeah, so I might as well talk a little bit about the plan first. I've tested a few ideas on this map. Um, I want to make it a, I guess, a relatively uh, um, rectangular, like, grid-based map. Uh, but with, like, different grids. So there's not just one grid, like, aligned to everything. Um, I'd love it. I'd love to have a grid split up here like close to the central avenue or the central avenue going into the city and like have a large park in the middle like a little bit uh, a little bit like uh, Lee Hawkins style to be honest but without doing the maths behind it we're just gonna eyeball it but make some kind of triangular park here and we're gonna call it the central park so that's that uh, I also this is another important aspect. Since we have now the wind to concern about, like where where the pollution is being blown, I think uh, on the starting tile to have an industrial area, we kind of have to, we kind of should put it in this corner here. But that works really well, I think, and we can sort of just extend this grid out to have it have it go over here. Uh, with that said, I also want to leave some space for a rail line. We have a rail out here. We have to unlock some tiles to get out to it. But I do want to uh, get the rail onto this island at some point. So I think I'm going to create a sort of uh, rail reservation, it might be called. I think it co it's called that in Swedish anyway. Like, just just a empty area where we will eventually put our rail. And, um, like, leave it empty for now. And it's going to be the barrier between the industrial and the other parts of the city so far. So, I'm just going to get started. This is so exciting. So before I start talking about the build itself, I need to mention a disclaimer. Uh, I did not uh, pay or buy this game. Uh, I got it uh, for free, the early access, uh, as as a part of like uh, just showing it to you guys as I'm doing right now, uh, and that might affect like how I feel about things. So just keep that in mind. I did not pay for this. Uh, it's not a paid promotion either, but but I just didn't pay for the game. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Uh, yeah, as I might have said, like, I, I want to make an American city. I don't, or like a North American city, uh, whatever that really means. Uh, it has to do with, I don't really build these too, too often, uh, and um, I've actually built another city earlier in City Skylines 2, and that was a European city, so um, I can't show that city, but, or at least not right now, maybe later, we'll, we'll see, uh, but... So basically, I just had the itch. I wanted to try an American city. So we're doing it. We're doing the extreme grids. Um, 
Yeah, and I've also, uh, I'd like to apologize in advance if this is sped up too quickly. Uh, there are some hard requirements on how long the videos can be, and uh, this video uh, will not be longer than 30 minutes, will be exactly 30 minutes long. Which means that I'd have to either cut out stuff or speed it up. So I chose to speed it up just slightly more, fa more faster, faster than I usually do my videos. Which is, I think it works pretty good. Like honestly, uh, performance in City Skylines 2, especially for these kinds of things, like seems to be pretty good on my PC. That is, uh, like it, it works better than I uh, honestly anticipated and expected. It seems. Uh, very optimized in ways that City Skylines 1 wasn't. Uh, I'm not getting like nearly the same amounts of like simulation stat stutter or lag. Uh, the game the game is more modern in that way, in like in, in how it uses the resources. I believe uh, I'm I'm gonna put up my specs, like my computer on the screen. I I don't have a particularly good computer, like and, and you could find uh, that actually the CPU I have is outside of the uh, the sort of stated minimum requirements on Steam, so. It's not, uh, it's not a beefy monster, I would say. But I do have. I recently upgraded my GPU to a relatively good card, and uh, or like a perfectly decent card. Like I guess it's a good card, but uh, I think that does a lot. Um, yeah. So I, I know there's going to be lots of questions about specs. So I'll I'll post them uh, in the description as well. Um, uh, yeah. I am completing. Uh, the first grid, or I, I just completed the first part of the grid, uh, which will be like the main industrial part of the city. Uh, that's because it's downwind of the, uh, how do you say it, like, like we have to use the wind and think about how the wind blows in this game, which I think is super cool. Sometimes kind of frustrating, but it's, it's a cool mechanic. Um, and that sort of forces us to, for at least having a good city to have the industry on the far end. Uh, and this will be the sort of main uh, habitation module of the city, I guess. Like, here's where people will live to start off. Like, this is the, the sort of center of the city. Uh, and I'm creating this weird wedge shape that is... I, I hinted it in the intro. It's going to be a sort of central park. Not entirely inspired by New York Central Park or any other, really, for that matter. But uh, who am I kidding? Of course it's inspired by New York Central Park. But... It, in reality, it's just a park. Uh, it's just a park that's sort of uh, in between these two different grid uh, grid patterns. Uh, it's a, I don't know, it, it's a very neat trick to make it look more realistic and filled out and, and detailed than it really is. Uh, but it does create, uh, I mean, it does create, like, you lose some area that you can't zone by, by instantly when you start doing an unperfect grid. So... It's it's not the most optimized way to maybe build cities, but I'm I'm going to I'm like determined to build this city as I would build any other city, like with a sort of focus on on uh, on details and and visuals uh, pretty high up the list of stuff. Like it's it has to function as well, but uh, details and visuals are important. So and uh, yeah, uh, if there's there's a lot of things that maybe make this a not so good sort of uh, tutorial how to start your city because uh, realistically I probably wouldn't waste so much money this is a lot of roads and a lot of road maintenance that we probably don't need for quite some time I could have used like the gravel roads I could have used like there's a small new concrete road um, that's also really like useful and cheaper uh, but I knew that eventually this is going to upgrade to this anyway, and I'm confident that I can get the economics to work, so... But it's not the most efficient start, that's another <laughs> di disclaimer. Um, we we do end up, uh, this video will uh, end up, we will have a profit in the city, we will like uh, push it into the green. Uh, but we will do so by doing some economics changes and like changing the budgets for services and... Uh, and uh, raising the taxes a little bit, but uh, I think that's actually that's kind of a part of this game that it seems more fleshed out than than uh, CS1 ever was, to be honest. The gameplay in, in general, and there we just hit the first milestone, tiny village. Uh, we will not be progressing further than the grand village milestone in 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 this video. 
the milestones are not unlocked by population, as you would have guessed. I, there's no people in the city yet. We only have roads. Uh, just one more lane, bro. Uh, but every time you place down something, you get XP. And this XP is what unlocks stuff. So that's a new mechanic, a new way of doing things. And I didn't have like any sort of real strong opinions on it from the start, I think. But I'm more and more coming around to like accept, like it's accepting it. <laughs> I always accepted it, but uh, coming around to sort of thinking, yeah, that's a pretty good idea probably. Because it means you can do stuff like this. When you, when you unlock the milestone, you also get a bunch of more money. So you could really, even in the sort of vanilla game uh, with the progression, like just do a, a large plan of roads and if you're confident enough you can make it work when you're sort of zoning it in quickly then then that's fine so uh, you could see me oh now i'm placing the groundwater uh, uh, pumping station uh, yeah, and the, yeah starting to place the utilities getting some electricity in here uh, yeah there's Power, yeah, oh my god, there's so much to it. Uh, power lines and utilities in general are much better in this game. Like, not, not even, that's, that's like, not even fair. Like, they are just so much better. Um, there's several types of power lines, including, like, low voltage, uh, sort of, just residential wooden pole power lines. Uh, they are a thing now in the game. Uh, it's not really super. They're not super useful. You can you can always you can always do uh, power lines underground as well, which is another feature you couldn't do before. And they're of course also connected via the roads. So uh, that system, and especially like the transmission system, where you have to use transformers if you if you want to have like a very high throughput over a certain stretch, you have to use transformer stations to to uh, upgrade a tr transform. I guess the the to a higher voltage uh, for transmission. I'm sorry. I'm uh, like sort of semi an electrical engineer, uh, and I think this stuff is super funny uh, or like super cool. Uh, I'm not that kind of electrical engineer. I'm a hardly electrical engineer, I should say. But uh, I think it's a really fun way to to play around, and it's it's much better than having just one type of electrical power because or like electrical power transmission because just having the uh, the one massive transmission lines be the only way to transmit power other than like buildings I, I, I was it was bugged me and it was very hard for me to detail that properly even like using all my tricks I always struggled with that so that stuff is going to be so much easier in city, city skylines too uh, you could also see me there I'm just oh it's going so quick I'm uh, complementing the zoning grid with um, some uh, com commercial on the main avenues I'm doing a graveyard here Cemetery adding some of those upgrade buildings uh, You could see me add some upgrade buildings to the uh, trash the landfill as well when I placed that So that was pretty cool and here. I'm placing a small coal power plant. I decide that you know what? Might as well go for some coal. There is a very interesting sort of strat if you have a map with a lot of wind you can actually you can actually build a city with zero population and have a massive massive income just from building uh, infinite amounts of wind turbines and exporting the electricity that that's another thing you can export your utilities you can import and export them so we don't necessarily need a power plant to start a city we just need a transformer uh, connected to that outside uh, high voltage power line and uh, oh, it's 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 really fun I absolutely love this um, this aspect of the game is like one of the best one. One of the hugest improvements over the first one, absolutely. Uh, yeah, you can see me doing some work with the bridges there. Uh, and that bridge we just created to the industrial area will eventually connect to our first custom interchange of this map, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty excited to uh, already be doing custom interchanges. And the custom interchanges are, are so good. Very, very much better much easier to make to be honest and you don't yeah there's so many things included in the base game with that you would use mods for in in cs1 like imt and and stuff like that so um you'll, you'll see that in a bit here i'm just working a bit on the central park uh making some pathways through it and um uh, and uh, just making it feel more like a park uh, the small pedestrian paths are 
really good. They're much thinner than they were in Cities 1, uh, which is a huge upgrade, I think. They're very convenient and like very practical to use uh, for all sorts of things. Like, I know there's a lot of people who think that there should be bikes in the base game, and I mean, I agree, I, I would have loved bikes, uh, but you can always pretend that you have bike paths and bike networks just using these paths. That's, that's what I'm gonna do for now, anyway. Um, these are like bike and walking paths. Usually they're the same sort of path anyway in, in real life uh, where I live, so yeah. Uh, you can also see how you can use these paths to sort of affect the zoning grid. So when you have like weird uh, zoning stuff, that's a City Skylines 1 trick by the way, that's, but it kind of works even better in, in this game. Uh, so if you have, uh, when you drag out your roads and the, zone, the zoning grids sort of appear to be a bit weird and you want to change them, you can always use these paths and pretty easily fix it. Um, oh yeah. Oh, we locked the, unlocked the next milestone and you can see I'm also now going around and placing down uh, some of the first trees. I'm doing like this line of oak trees. Uh, I'm doing this very early because the trees take a very long time to grow in. Uh, this is two things. This is both super annoying uh, because you want to see the full grown trees from the start. But it's also super cool, actually. It's like a, it's like a weird realistic bo realism boost, actually, because you really, uh, you really care much more about the trees now. It's like becomes much more uh, painful to remove them because you know it will take a long time for them to grow back. So, I'm I'm kind of in in favor of it. Uh, but uh, to be honest, it would be nice to have a mod that aged them up or something like that instantly, also. Uh, there you could see me place and unlock and place the first signature building, which is another a new type of uh, basically like Rico buildings m merged with unique buildings from City Skylines One. It's a com it's a residential building in this case uh, that you can place one of, and it's free, and you can just plop it down wherever. So that's pretty cool. It's called like the Rock Musician Mansion or something like that. But that was. Uh... Those are gonna be a, a huge thing, like, eventually. You unlock the... Most of the signature buildings are unlocked by having a certain amount of, like, zone types grow in. Uh, so we could do some, potentially some cheesing to sort of... To uh, just make them unlock so we can have them and then place them. But some of these also have, like, really nice boosts. So you can um, really, really uh, get some nice benefits from them. Here I'm placing the high school, and as an upgrade to the high school, you get this uh, track and field, uh, football, and uh, I guess association football or soccer stadium, like all in one. Uh, it's, let's call it the, the diplomatic stadium. It's like everything, <laughs> except I guess uh, like rugby or cricket or something like that. But um, it, I think it adds a very nice sort of splash of red, like the red color from the the tracks. Uh, just adds a lot of detail to the city and uh, yeah. It would be nice to be able to place these upgrade buildings as freestanding separate buildings, but uh, this also works. It's a part of the high school, it's connected to it. Uh, here you could see me use the path to actually affect the, change the zoning grid a little bit. Um, and before placing, uh, trying to place down the elementary school. Realizing I had the the water uh, the water pumping station is uh, in the way, so I have to move it a little bit. Um, yeah, playing uh, playing this this game uh, makes me realize also like how much I miss certain mods, like like how much I'm dependent on like mods like Move It and City Skylines, uh, because I'm constantly like er, at least in the beginning I was constantly just smashing the hotkeys for all these mods. And like wondering why they didn't sort of turn on, but eventually you get used to it. Um, I am, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that like this, this game has a better starting point when it comes to sort of what kind of tools we have built into the game uh, than City Skylines One had. So I'm pretty sure, like, uh, you know, when, whenever, whenever we get all the the extra nice tools we want, uh, this. This is just going to be much better. I I don't dare to say like yet anyway like at, that this is going to be better than City Skylines One. I am a extremely nerdy and like extremely passionate about City Skylines One. It's like absolutely my favorite game, most favorite game ever. And uh, 
it, it's gonna take a while for me to get used to this new one, but uh, like so far, I'm I'm both loving it and uh, and and missing a lot of things from City Scanners One. So it's like I'm getting I'm getting both sides of it right now. But um, it's um, I I think it has it has like from what I've seen so far and what like what I've experienced like. I've played this quite a lot. I've played this uh, more than a hundred hours already, actually, and it, I think it really has the potential to to be better than City Skylines One. I don't think it's there yet uh, for for what I want to do and what I want to play, like how I want to use the game. But I definitely think it has the potential to to become like the ultimate city building game uh, of our era, I suppose. Um, there you could see me very quickly use the forest brush to fill in the park a little bit more and uh, yeah basically very or not not a forest brush but there is a brush tool for trees now in vanilla so that is very nice um, uh, you can you can paint large areas of forest without having to plop every single tree uh, and now I'm going around and adding trees to the roads and also like adding the green the grass uh, I don't know what you would call a grass curb or grass on the side of a curb um, it's not medians but yeah you can do this separately on one side of a road or both which is very neat neat um, and there you could just see me like just demonstrating a a way to make a small cul-de-sac uh, uh, just by making a very very short segment uh, on the end of the uh, the grass lined the grass lined road like the when it comes to making networks and stuff like that, like there's so, like there really is so much. Uh, there's so much more anarchy, like about it. Like there's, there's much more. Uh, there, there's less restrictions, I should say. There's there, they are just so le much less restrictive than they were in Cities Gardens One. So, and uh, that is that is going to be very fun too. Like especially like honestly like making maps and making like interchanges. Like I'm going to start doing now the first interchange of the city. Um, there's still definitely tools I, I, I miss from, from, from mods like Network Multi-Tool and Move It and, and such, but I, like, the results, like, the results are, are amazing still, so. Uh, this interchange here, I just unlocked enough tiles to get in on one side, like, access one side, one direction, I guess, so I decide to make a, um, a park low, a sort of I don't know what the designation of the type of parklow is, but it's like a B, whatever, or A, or it's a B shaped. Actually, it looks like a B, so maybe it's maybe it's called a B something parklow. But uh, I I will I might have to look that up, or or I just won't. You 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 guys will probably tell me about it anyway. Um, it's it's a parklow. That that much I'm 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 sure about. Um, and here you can see I'm upgrading the the, the highway to have three lanes for this part. Because that will let me snap when I'm I'm creating these connections, the the, the ramp connections. It will let me snap to the outermost lane, and it's snapping and upgrading and and like all of this stuff you can do. Uh, like it feels like there's so much in this game that have been like tailored for the interchange maker or the the interchange enjoyer, I guess, the, the highway enjoyer in general. And uh, I even though this is one of those things, I hate I hate highways in real life. I I hate it. But I love it in this game. It's, it's like one of my favorite things to do. So, um, yeah, I I can't say I'm disappointed to be honest. And you see how quickly that still turned out. That was like a few minutes. Like maybe it took me a total of five to ten minutes to make that. Even even with my sort of uh, perfectionistic standards for that. And and uh, yeah, you could definitely make one in just a, like two or two or three minutes. Like or almost even quicker honestly but um, then it might not be as flat and sort of uh, the grades might not be uh, perfect and the, the curves but yeah I'll, I'll definitely like uh, return with like tutorials and stuff like that for like I found so many tricks so far playing this game so I'll, I'll be back with tutorials on like how to how to make these things in in the easiest way as uh, as possible um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Like that's that's gonna be fun. I feel like I've just like a whole new world of tricks to find, you know. Uh, 
City Skylines One. I still I'm still finding new tricks all the time, like how to how to how to hack stuff and make stuff better. But this is just like floodgates. Like there's like you know there's just so many things to discover and so many things to uh, to uh, find out and and learn and then share it. So I'm uh, extremely excited about that. Uh, this does not mean, by the way, by any means, that I will stop playing City Skylines 1, or, for that matter, uh, making content for City Skylines 1. Like, I have a, a series that I am very excited to get back to, uh, the Mio, the French uh, viaduct, <laughs> viaduct and the town build. Uh, I am itching to get back to it, if... I think there's a, there's a, there's definitely a, uh, a big chance that I, I've already released the eighth and maybe even ninth episode when, when this has, uh, been with, when this is airing, but, um, if not, they are definitely, uh, high up on my priority of lists, uh, priority of things to do, yes, that's, that's what we call it, <laughs> um, I've, I've, sort of sorted out most of my other side projects uh, at the time unfortunately also i guess like yeah no boring boring stuff but unfortunately school has started again which means i will have to spend time uh, doing school stuff which is fun but yeah <laughs> takes time from doing videos i guess but um but i i'm pretty confident i'll be able to find uh, a lot more time at least this autumn than I had uh, the, the, last, the last spring where I basically didn't do a lot of videos at all. I was very very stressed about school back then so here we go. Yeah and now I'm I'm at this point I'm pretty sure I'm thinking this is going to be a trumpet interchange. Every city needs a trumpet interchange like if you guys might have seen like my my recent Instagram posts, they're all like trumpet interchanges. It seems so, uh, but I changed my mind. It's not going to be a trumpet. It's going to be a sort of park low with a roundabout thingy, which is another one of my favorites. Uh, you could also see uh, we actually reached the grand village milestone, which means we won't really be progressing any anything else in this episode. But I will finish the build uh, this interchange build for. Uh, for the video, so and it's remarkable how quick, <laughs> remarkable how quick it, it goes sometimes. When everything just works, it just works. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for the first episode. Um, uh, stay tuned for the next one when we will be doing uh, the train line. We'll be trying to fit in the train here as planned and uh, <laughs> let's hope it works. Uh, we'll watch these trees slowly grow up and uh, and we can also now pl start placing park assets so we can start actually making this a proper park. Uh, it's gonna be so good. Um, we're also gonna do um, uh, some of these industry or like the sort of specialized industry areas. Uh, they work the same way as the garbage dump, as you drag out the, the sort of uh, area cell for it, and it's going to be that's going to be so fun. That's going to make it look so much more lively, I think. Uh, yeah, if you liked this episode, uh, absolutely don't forget to uh, to hit the like and subscribe button, so you will won't miss the next one and and see as this this city progresses. Uh, uh, I'll try to keep this. I'll try to keep this into a free part series. Um, Maybe, eventually, uh, we can try to make it longer, but for now, uh, I think it's going to be a three-part series. Uh, that is bas basically, uh, I can't do whatever I want right now. I need to uh, stick into some sort of requirements and, uh, yeah. So it's it's not completely, otherwise maybe I would have done something different, but I am really happy still with how this has turned out. This is so good. Um, uh, thank you so much again to Paradox and Colossal for letting me play this game before before it is uh, available on Steam. Uh, I I am really grateful for that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I see. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>